Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomics. Today, I'm really excited to share with you that my、uh, book from cell line to command line second version is available for you. So it really teaches you how you can transform from a web biologist to a computational biologist, like I did. So in the second version, I actually updated many links and also.、Uh, Fixed many typos and uh, uh, added some uh, new contents、uh, suggested by some of the readers. And in this book, I really packed、uh, a lot of the tips and experience from my ten years, over ten years experience of computational biology. And because I learned actually、uh, all the computational biology the hard way, so I hope this book can help you、uh, to make the transformation that you want and.、Uh, Avoid the mistakes that I made. Okay, just a quick look about the uh, contents um, uh, of this book. So, and you see、uh, the、oh, you have this preface. Essentially, I introduce who I am. Then have the introduction. And、uh, so, what are the、uh, what is bioinformatics? What the what are the skills that are required? So, I will share some of the tips. Okay, and then in the introduction part.、Uh, What I really like is、uh, where to start this part. So, because one of the big, biggest problem when I started is that I really even didn't know where to start. So I created a lot of、uh, good、um, courses, links, and also books、uh, for you to get started、uh, for、uh, computational biology. So、uh, even I think the、uh, the introduction the chapter will give you a good idea where to start if you really want to learn computational biology. Then I started with Unix Unix commands. I think if you want to learn computational biology, you have to learn、um, uh, Unix commands, because all most of the computational bio,、uh, biology tools they are written to run on command line. So you need to learn how to run commands in the terminal. Okay, and I will actually share with you many of those、uh, commonly used、uh, command line.、Uh, Uh, commands like such as gun zip,、uh, remove head and tail, by using a real example、uh, of wrangling a, a GTF file, gene transfer format file. Okay, so to take a look here, so and you can look at all those other、uh, commands that I commonly used, and it would be very useful for your daily daily computational biology、uh, work. Okay, then I will dive into a little bit about R and Python. So I'm still a、uh, R, more like consider myself a more like an R、uh, expert, and I also use Python. But、uh, R is really useful because uh, uh, the、uh, tidyverse ecosystem, also the bioconductor、uh, ecosystem, that provides a lot of packages that you can use for analyzing a lot of the uh, uh, genomics data. And、uh, yeah, so and I also like in the later chapters I will talk about the statistics, statistics, experimental design, and the p-values, and、uh, yeah,、mm, what else? And I have a chapter for,、uh, for example, for、uh, principal component analysis. Usually, this is always the first step that I do. For any data analysis, to、uh, plot the principal component plot, and to see whether there is there anything uh, uh, irregular uh, in the in the data.、Okay. So I will have a full chapter on heat map、uh, because heat map is the workhorse for、uh, for a lot of the bioinformatics analysis. If you look at the read those papers in,、uh, from genomics、uh, data analysis, you will always see a heat map, and it will. Actually, walk you through how to use a complex heat map,、uh, how to make heat maps, and also even understand what does a heat map mean. Okay. And、uh, later, I will talk about okay how to use spreadsheet like uh, uh, efficiently and、uh, follow the best practice. And in chapter nine, I share with you some of the genomics routines and.、Uh, For example, how to stream the FASTQ files from ENA, how to get the promoter sequences, get CPG islands, and those are all like codes that you can follow. And how to run D6 two, 
how to run uh, gene set enrichment analysis and even better to understand uh, GSGA analysis. Okay. Okay. And then in chapter 10, I talk about the metric, uh, matrix factorization. So the principal component is one of the matrix factorization methods and then also cover others. One of, one of my favorite is called NMF or non-negative matrix factorization. Okay. And uh, and for the workflow language, I mainly uh, talk about SnakeMake. Okay? Although I provided links for other uh, workflow man uh, languages such as Widow and the uh, NextFlow. Okay? And uh, yeah, I also have one chapter fully dedicated for reproducible research because I'm really into it. I want my computation to be reproducible. So uh, I'll show you how I handle uh, reproducible uh, research. Use Docker and Singularity, how to name the files and the folders and and make a good a full structure for any project. And 13, I, um, uh, chapter 13, I talk about machine learning a little bit. So some uh, common use of uh, uh, machine learning approaches called linear regression, logistic regression, and uh, a random forest a little bit. Okay. Uh, I think that's uh, just a foretaste of the book. I uh, hope you can learn the town from uh, from this book. And again, uh, no matter how much you read, I think the most important thing is to get your hands dirty, get your hands on some real problems, practice what you learn from this book and also the links uh, uh, from this book. And I'm sure you will get there. And happy learning. Uh, see you next time.